wraps up. Praise be to the speedrunning community, man. So, some intrepid adventurers in the speedrunning community have been exploring glitches in 1.1.2. Uh, since the patch dropped and all out of the fun glitches involving menu storage went away. It was a very sad time. We made a video about it. I have not updated to 1.1.2 since, but there have been developments, everybody. Some really nice people from the Pokemon Switch speedrunning Discord talked to me. I, I, I heard that, this, that, that some new glitches were discovered. I reached out to them and uh, I reached out specifically to Neo Reflux and Crush. Um, there's another guy, Yiffies, that uh, informed some other people's videos. He posted a video on his YouTube, I'll link that as well. These guys were part of the speedrunning community, and they were researching glitches, and it sort of progressively developed. So to kick things off, I'll show you how it starts. So we're on 1.1.2, I'm gonna load into Shining Pearl, and I'll talk a little bit about it while we wait for the world's longest loading screen. So, there's three components to this, right? There's, there's the activation of fly storage, which um, originally in 1.1.1, you activated it by walking in and out of the battle tower, but somebody found out how to activate fly storage uh, anywhere using the Poke app, which is super useful. Uh, fly storage is similar to menu storage. Um, basically the menu for you to fly pops up, but you can walk around behind it. So that's part one of the glitch and we're gonna activate that right now. So I like to do it here in Pastoria City because this is also where you do the uh, glitch moves, but you're gonna position yourself right in front of the Pokemon Center like that. Oh shit, I need to move my camera because uh, I actually need the poke etch and the poke etch is in the way. So I'm gonna go over to the left hand side. So we open our poke etch to the hidden moves tab and we put our finger over the fly button. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mash R1 and A on that fly button and then we're gonna press up. And if we did it and we got the activation, we would walk into the Pokemon Center. We didn't, so it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky how to get it. You kind of just have to mash. Um, but if you get it open and closing like that, that's usually like when it happens for me. So that time I didn't get it. That time I didn't get it. Bring it up, hover it over. RNA, RNA, RNA. Still haven't gotten it. See it, see it? I mean, it's a little tricky. Oh, no, it wasn't. We actually did get in. Fuck, and I fucked it up. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we went in. So we got in, it did the black flash. So we're at the door of the Pokemon Center. Now you actually need, you can't just walk back out and do everything. You need to go through the escalator here in the Pokemon Center to activate it. So we're in the background and the escalator is two steps up. One, two, and then five steps over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, oh, seven, okay. So that went down the escalator. And you can see, you can see the cursor on the map moves. You can track your movement with the cursor on the map. And then we go over one and it'll send us back up. And then we just go back out. One, two, three, four, five, down, 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 and we're out. So now that we're out here, we can activate the menu storage glitch from here. So we're in front of the Pokemon Center. We're gonna get our icon on a city that we wanna fly to. And then we're gonna hit A on this. It's gonna pop up and say, do you want to fly to? And while that text box is on the screen, you're gonna hit X to open the menu. If you do it right, the menu will open up and a yes, no dialogue will open up for you to hit yes to fly. If you do it wrong, the menu will pop up and the yes, no dialogue won't pop up and then you'll actually be frozen in this menu. So you have to make sure to hit A and then X after each other and see how you can see that yes, no behind the check map. That's our dialog box. We wanna hit yes on that. And so that's gonna fly us back to Pastoria City. You can do this anywhere. It doesn't actually matter, but I usually fly to Pastoria City. And now that we're here, we have full access to our usual menu storage glitch. Uh, we have full action ability. It's not like strength storage. So let's get somewhere where nobody can mess with us, like down here. And you can see this actually now gives us full access to all the glitches we were able to do before. So we can go up to Pokemon. We can go into the boxes. And from here, we can do all the stuff that we were doing in the boxes before. So I got this whole box full of rando dittos. I'm gonna hit A on one of the dittos, move down to check summary, and then hit X again to open the menu. Voila. This is what we need. We go to menu, open the boxes again. Go to the box list, we can take our ditto box, swap it with an empty box, back out, back out, back out, back out, check summary, 
back out again, and we have fully cloned our dittos. So that is super neat, right? So that's that's uh, useful useful tip number one. Full item cloning is back. Boom, boom, we got all our dittos. And if you had items on these guys, you would be able to pull those items off and duplicate those items, which is amazing. So that functionality is fully back. So what else can we do? Any of the glitches actually that I've tested work. So we have access to the duplication glitch of full boxes. We have access to the ability to use the move tutor to teach any move, which I guess I'll demo right now. So we gotta activate the menu storage again. This is the this is the pain in the butt, is like activating it every time isn't as easy as opening up your Pokemon summary and then hitting two buttons at the same time. You need to do a little bit of finagling to get this to work. But it does work. And that's really the most important thing because if you wanna be able to clone items and go online, you need to be on the most current version. And if you wanna trade with anybody who's on the most current version, you also need to give up your ability to clone. So now we have that back. So now we can do things like clone Aper balls, which is a really nice thing to do for somebody. Smash, smash, smash. Did I get it? God, see it's so, you have to get like, I think it's like a one frame timing or something. All right, so I got some headphones on. Got it. Yeah, that's way better with audio. <laughs> All right, so we're in the door and that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. It's seven on that one, but it's only five on the way back. So then right to go in, out, one, two, three, four, five, down, 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 down. Oh, left, down. Okay, I guess it was six that time. <laughs> so now we're outside. So now remember we go down Pastoria City, A, and then X. Yeah, just like that. So it's like while the text box is up, the text is scrolling, uh, you do it and then you fly to the city. And we have our menu storage up. Keep our menu up, gotta keep this up. I usually go into the save menu so it's like easier for me to walk around. Then we can close this uh, after we're inside. All right, so this part's kind of kind of tricky, right? All right, so you're gonna open the Pokemon menu. You're gonna hit up, and then you're gonna hit A to talk to the guy, B to close this menu, and then Y and A. Pokemon needs tutoring, and it opens this up. We go over, we select our Pokemon. Which Pokemon should I teach? We're gonna go down to swap Pokemon, and hit A. We're gonna pick a move from our guy here, which was, let's say, we'll teach, uh, we'll teach Body Slam. We'll teach Rock Slide to Charmander. Rock Slide, do you want a Pokemon to remember Rock Slide? Yes. Pokemon would you like to forget instead? So we're already, we have Charmander swapped. We go over to our guy. We hit Y to swap him and then hit A again. So now we're on Charmander's moves and we can pitch, pick which one to erase with Rock Slide. So this will allow us to do the same, teach any move to any Pokemon before. The difference with this guy, um, so before in the last video, I said that it actually doesn't make a difference whether you've spent 10 hard scales or you haven't. So on this save file, I haven't spent the 10 hard scales yet. And so the dialog box sequence is actually different. You can just grab it from my other video because it's exactly the same once you're in front of them. The most important part is that you need to get it to the point where you're facing down and you're on the Pokemon screen because you're gonna hit A on the Pokemon screen and then press up to go forward and then talk to this dude. So that's cool glitch, super important to have. There's one more that I think is really useful which is the ability to use items without actually consuming them. This is amazing, right? Because now we don't have to have 999 rare candies. We just need 99 rare candies. And then we can level our guy to 100. And then we can get back to the, uh, you know, we can reload the world without having spent our stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna clone some rare candies real quick. And then when I come back, we are going to test out that glitch. We'll show you how to use the rare candies and whatever other items you might have to use, whether it be uh, vitamins, you could only have 26 of each vitamin and you could fully EV train a Pokemon without ever uh, using those 26 vitamins. Once you have 26 of each, you're good to go. Um, super useful. Just a hot tip while you're cloning. It's actually possible to clone multiple things at once without having to redo the glitch every time. It's kind of a pain to set up the fly storage with RNA. 
Um, it, I, I find it's maybe only like 10% successful, maybe less than that, but you know, it, it, there, but there's a very specific timing to it. And once we, once you get better at it, I'm sure it'll be faster, but while it's new, mashing is kind of the only way until you get better at kind of the, you know, it's like a, it's like an LBJ in Super Mario 64, you know? <clears throat> so we can do this cloning, uh, over and over again. I'm cloning rare candies to show off the infinite item usage potential with this. So, uh, we have rare candies on these Torchics here. I'm gonna press A, hover over, check summary, open a menu, go to Pokemon, head over to this uh, second box menu, swap this over to a box with nothing in it. I'm gonna go over that one. Hit B, hit B, hit B, hit B, check summary, and then B, and then we're back on this box, and this is this is the box we just cloned. So we can go right back into cloning it. We don't have to go back and do a whole menu storage again. We can hit A again, check summary, second menu, boom, bam over here box list and then we'll swap it over another box that i know doesn't have anything in it back 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 check summary and see it'll clone that again so we can just keep repeating that process over and over again if we wanted to really dupe a lot of items at once like rare candies okay so i just finished cloning a bunch of those rare candies and now it's time to activate the glitch one last time and show how to use those without consuming them Nice, that was a quick one. Okay, so uh, we're inside. We have the fly menu up. Okay, so we've got our menu up and this is how we would use an item uh, without actually spending it. The only unfortunate thing is that you have to save and because you have to save, that means you can only do one at a time and you have to wait through the black loading screen. So it's only slightly faster. I mean, it's definitely faster than having to withdraw all the items off the Pokemon. Um, so this is how we would do it. We just go to the rare candy. We use it on the cloud. Uh, we'll use the 24. We hit A. Pokemon gain experience points. Oop, level 100. And then we're open the menu. Save it. Now we can just restart the game. All the menus will go away. We'll still have the rare candies and Togekiss will be level 100. Pretty sweet. And just like that, we can see the cloud is level 100 but we should still have 36 rare candies. And yes, we do. So that which works great. Okay, so the last glitch I wanna show off is the ability to declone Pokemon, which is pretty useful. Declone, mass release, whatever you wanna call it. It's pretty useful when you're cloning a lot of things because you wind up with a lot of garbage in your box. You wind up with a bunch of zigzagoons, a bunch of crash, and it like get rid of breeding rejects, which is really useful. You can fill up boxes pretty quick when you're shiny hunting. So uh, we're gonna activate the glitch one more time. That was good, yes, we got it. Oh, you'll love to see it. And then we need to go inside somewhere because uh, for to do, to do the declone glitch, you need to be somewhere where you can't open the union room by accident. So I'm gonna go inside one of these houses. This guy's just over by his TV, so he's not gonna bother us. We'll go over here and we'll go over to Pokemon. And ideally you have one full box of Pokemon that you are using as sort of the eraser. In this case, uh, that's gonna be these Torchic for me. And then I'm going to erase these Togepi. And you wanna have one empty box to use as the trash bin. So you have a box of erasers and a trash bin and then what you wanna delete. So we're gonna start here on our erasers. We're gonna go over to the green multi-select. This is the Y button. This is why we had to be in a building because the Y button opens the union room. We're gonna grab all these Pokemon. Grab all these nice Torchics, we're gonna go to the box list and we're gonna hover over, oh, I lied, oop, fucked up. We're going to hover over a blank box. I guess I'll just hit L. Yeah, and that'll bring us here. So now we open up a second menu. Go to Pokemon, R to open up the, open up this. The second Pokemon menu, we're gonna go to the Pokemon we wanna delete, which in this case are these Togepi. We're gonna grab them all. We're gonna go to the box list and we're gonna drop them in that empty box that we're hovering over right here. Then we can go B, B, B. And then we plop these guys down and now hit X. If you get stuck, hit X, it'll open the menu. I got stuck there. Uh, and then B, 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 and you'll get out. And now we're in a clean menu, a normal menu, a non glitched menu. And we can see that we have our two empty boxes and the Togepi's are gone, so. That worked pretty well. So I guess finally, like in closing, just talking about like how nice it is that we have these back. So now everybody that 
was holding on to 1.1.1 can go up to 1.1.2 and anybody that is upset that they accidentally updated to 1.1.2 can now have access to all the fun glitches that we had before uh, basically anything you could do before you can do now it's just a matter of uh, going through all the necessary steps to set it up so that's pretty cool that means a glitch mons with glitch moves are back in the rotation I might have a video coming about a, 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 an improved ultimate weapon, the ultimate squad uh, to climb your way through the battle tower. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's nice that we can now set up our games like the way I set up my Emerald file uh, in Gen 3, which is like I can know uh, my TMs are now infinite use because I can use TMs from the menu and not consume them. Uh, I can level up my Pokemon to 100 instantly, which is amazing. I can EV train Pokemon with vitamins very cleanly just by having 26 of each vitamin and only spent like never having to spend them. And I can have all the berries and all the competitive items. And once you have every item, once you have every item forever, which I think is nice. I don't need to be farming. Just let me get an ability patch one time and then I get to use the ability patch functionality for the rest of forever. Um, at least that's the way I play the game. I've been playing this game for 20 years or whatever. Longer than, longer than 20 years, man. Like 25 years? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's right. I, I remembered it. Um, so now that we have this functionality back, everybody that has Apricorn Balls should clone a bunch of them and have them as tradable to other people and have like have tradable Pokemon holding them. I highly recommend, I'm gonna be doing this a lot when I stream is just like sending out Apra Ball sets to people for them to clone. Uh, so, you know, pay it forward. Do a do a kind thing to the to your Pokemon neighbor. Clone a full set of Apricorn Balls, send them to them and teach them how to clone. Apricorn Balls shouldn't be the property of Jeff Bezos worshipers only. It should be everybody. So spread those Apricorn Balls and have a Merry Christmas. Peace.